I do my best to avoid doing Tesla Neo comparisons. I don't like comparing the two. I think they're, I think they both will do well over the course of time. I don't think that it's fair to compare them. All right. That's my asterisk. That's my disclaimer. Now here's why I decided to do this. People were really curious and talking about the production. That was, that was kind of a point of emphasis production and deliveries for Neo uh, off, off of my last video. And so I, kind of got curious and I said, Hey, Aaron, why don't you go back in time, take a snapshot of what Tesla deliveries looked like at a similar stage in say, you know, the first few years of their production and deliveries and, and just those first few years so that we can compare to Neo, even though I don't like comparing them, I thought, Hey, for the viewers do this and let's see what people come back with. I'm curious what others will say. So here's what I did. I went back in time. Uh, and found a snapshot. Now, here's the comparison kind of as I see it. If we do this comparison is is sort of this 2012 year would be equivalent to for NEO because um, this is Tesla deliveries by quarter starting in 2012. That would be the equivalent of the uh, 2018 year for NEO. And then 2013 for Tesla would be like 2019 for NEO. 2020 for NEO would be 2014 for Tesla. 2015 for Tesla would be uh, somewhat, you know, equivalent by this comparison measure to Neo in 2021. Now, just a really quick sort of way that they ended the year in 2015, Tesla did over 17,000 deliveries in that quarter. And if the 2021 equivalent from Neo uh, is what we're using, then they would be 25,000. Uh, and so it looks like. Neo's actually doing a favorable comparison. Again, I, I don't love it because we're talking about a different time frame, a different adoption point and era. We're talking about uh, different markets. And, and so it, those are just some of the reasons I don't love the comparison. However, I was kind of curious when people started, you know, this recurring theme of production and deliveries. And, you know, some folks are frustrated with Neo saying they need to do more. Uh, and I don't have the Tesla chart for 2016. But the first two quarters of 2022 for NEO, they've done 25,000 uh, plus deliveries in both of the first two quarters. Now, I think, again, that it's a favorable comparison, but it's just not a great way to compare. However, because the viewers and because the viewers, frankly, got me curious, I looked this up and I thought, hey, Aaron, do a quick video, shoot it out. And I want to know what you think. Uh, is this a terrible way to compare? Does this make you feel any kind of way about either company um, or would it not matter? Just tell me, drop it in the comments. I'm curious to hear from you all uh, what your thoughts are with Neo. Uh, and then let's not forget that Neo Park is going to come online by the end of this year. We should see an uptick in deliveries. And I don't know what that looks like. But again, just looking at an early stage, a little snapshot, the first few years of production numbers for Tesla. I was real curious. I wasn't around to see it. And so I had to look back and dig a little bit to find this, but it was kind of fun. And, and I was curious to see what it would look like. Really curious to know from you all what your thoughts are. Tesla, Neo, never compare them again. Uh, do you love it? Do you hate it? W thoughts. I just want to know from you all. Hey, folks, come back and see me again. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, if you're on the Neo train with me, as I like to call it, one thing about it on this thing, you better get your seatbelts fastened because I truly believe we're going for a ride on this thing. Thanks, folks. We'll see you all again real soon.